Today is the first day back in my classroom of the summer of 2022. Um, so as you can see, my classroom looks a little bit different than um, before. So I actually did move classrooms. I am currently um, in Mandy's old classroom, which if you watched a few vlogs ago, um, I showed you guys around my old room versus my new room. I um, mean, so I am here. It is July 5th. My mom is here. She's over in this corner actually starting to work on bulletin boards. Today is day one of classroom setup for the 2022-2023 school year. Um, and as you can see, my room is um, in a very interesting state. Um, so today, uh, day one, we're going to be just focusing on um, getting things organized and getting things kind of out for me to be able to see everything because I did move classrooms A lot of things are in boxes a lot of things are in bins and put in places that I don't exactly know where they are so what I'm going to do is kind of just start by moving the smaller things that I can move on my own away and then putting all six of my tables out flat so that I can then put things on the tables and kind of organize them by category so that I can then sort of decide where in the room I want to store them because a lot of what's out is stuff that's usually in a cabinet or put away or stored. So um, because I just moved, I have a little bit more work to do than I normally would um, setting up a classroom. So that's why I'm here so early. I'm not actually contracted to come back until the 13th. So I am gonna work these two days to really organize and put some of the stuff away. And then next week I'll come in a couple of days before contract time and start decorating. Um, because I like to, when it's contract time to come back in, I like to focus that time on planning and prepping everything and there's always a lot of meetings so I always come in about four to five days before contract time to set up my classroom so that I don't have to stress about it when it is back to school like contracted time so anyway a lot of what you're going to see today is going to be montagey um, you're gonna see me moving in hyperspeed you're probably gonna see my mom moving in hyperspeed so grab a snack, find a cozy place to sit, and let's get this room organized. All right, you guys, so I've moved pretty much everything 
out. I have one more table that's flipped on top of itself and it's up there. What I wanted to do was get all of the tables flipped over so that I could stack like things that were on the ground on the tables so that I kind of can see what furniture I have, what wall space I have, um, and where I can kind of put things while I'm trying to figure out the layout of the room. Because the layout, once you get the layout down, then you can put things away. Um, so I kind of have to put a few more things on top of tables. And then what I think I'm gonna do next is kind of go through this cabinet over here, take things out and put them on top of a table. And then that way I can really go and look through bins and boxes to see like, okay, what do I have that I don't need out all the time and can put away in a cabinet? And then I can start putting things away that I don't use all the time or that aren't going to be out on display. Like for example, these bins right here, I know that these are gonna go inside of, I'm gonna call it my Monica closet because that's what I always call it, which is this, <laughs> this closet right here can actually hold quite a bit. So I have like four of these that I usually keep in there in addition to like things that I don't really wanna get rid of because what if I'm gonna go teach a different subject somewhere sometime? I mean, I have no plan to do that anytime soon. I love what I do, but there is, you know, we buy these things as teachers and we don't wanna get rid of them because we buy them. So uh, there's things like that that I wanna kind of like put away that I don't need to be out, to be seen but I'm not gonna get rid of them. So, like, um, a lot of these boxes that have like lit studies in them, I'm not gonna use that. Um, you know, my team teacher might use it, um, but I'm not gonna use it, so I'm gonna store it somewhere that it's not in the way, and it's not something that I, it's not a visual distraction. So, that's what I'm gonna do next. This is the table I need to flip over. I don't know if I have any room for it though, I might have to move this big desk before I can do that. And then once I do that, all the tabletops are out and they're open for me to stack things on and just kind of move around as I get my flow here. Right, guys so this is a little bit of progress here um, I decided to well I finished I sort of finished working over here I ended up getting these bins put away and I don't know what I'm gonna do with my construction paper yet I might just keep it right there because um, this is kind of all gonna be like supplies um, and then over here all the storage is pretty much set there's just a few more things that'll have to go in there and then I will have a few more of these like bins to stack up top I really wanted to get like a bookshelf or something like a small bookshelf even like this size but just one or two to put there and like put a lamp up there but I think I'm just gonna leave it alone um, so this is gonna be my student center. I think I'm gonna make some words to go up the top that says student center. This is where I'll have like my book order packets, obviously my book orders. If you wanna order books from my account, please, um, you know, type in that code, get me some points. <laughs> um, but I'll put like um, lunch menus here, um, special event posters here, I'll hang up like flyers for certain things here, like if there's a club sign up or like talent show sign ups or whatever flyers they give us in our mailboxes, I'll put here. And then I think I'm gonna make this cart right here be my inbox. I'll do block one, block two, block three, and then that way, if I want them to turn in their notebooks, they can just stack them all right there because I have 21 students in each homeroom right now, and I don't foresee us getting, you know, 12 more students by the end of the year. If we do, great, if not. I'm pretty sure 25 notebooks will fit across the top of each of these. 
So I'm gonna make those my, that my turn in bin. I'll move everything that's in it off of it, obviously. Um, and then that way, I've got like a nice little student center. Um, yeah, I might put a shelf there too and put some like trinkets because I have this really pretty black shelf, although I don't know yet. I usually put my Darth Vader stuff on it, but I might just use it. Um, or maybe I'll put that above my library and use it for my checkout list. That's a good idea. Anyway, this is what it's looking like. Or I could put my construction paper thing up here. But I like to use this area to put like loose white paper, loose lined paper, pencil sharpener. I'll put a lamp there. I'll put like a diffuser there. I like to keep the top of my spaces a little bit more open. I could probably put a plant there. Um, but I like to keep it open for things because I do have quite a bit of decor. Like I could even put, you know, Darth Vader right there. Uh, just to make sure that the kids aren't taking supplies they don't need, you know what I mean? So I have plenty of options. And that's what I kind of like to do is keep my options open by not making a spot solid until after I've got all the furniture put in place. Then I'll go back and decorate. So anyway, this is looking good so far. Mom is over here doing another wall. I think I'm going to take this focus wall down. I'll probably have to remake it. It's probably going to tear it. And then put that over here in the front over this wall since this wall is more, you know. You want me to take it down while I'm up here? You might as well if you can reach it. Yeah. It's more of a focal point. So this wall is where I'll probably put like the standard, like I'll print it out on paper. Yeah. Or learning targets, any like specific vocabulary or any like um, models or like. Um, it's hot glue, so. That's fine. I won't tear it. Just anything that is pertaining to the standard, the objective, and the content will go here. Um, that is a non negotiable for our school. We do have to have a focus wall. And then I don't know if I'm going to utilize, see how this is all like separated? Mandy used to have a grammar wall here. So I think what I might do is write like our daily agenda here, possibly write the learning target again, or make that where I'd keep my house points perhaps. Don't know yet. And then I might keep like, I like to do a vocab wall where I just start writing down the terms that we hear throughout the week. And then they're always up so the kids can see them. I don't write the definition. I just write the terms that we should be using in our scientific discussions like, energy, thermal energy, uh, hydro energy, things like that. So that when they're discussing or answering or talking, they have these vocab words that we've literally pulled out and I just list them and then it's nice. Then I might leave the, the middle open for like my Miss Valdez's drawings. I could even label it. And then over there I might put like important dates coming up or like missing, a, missing from or something like that. Cause I want to utilize, I'll print or maybe even put like on um, like a laminated piece of paper, something I can erase, the learning target and standard and all that stuff over here. Oh, I think that's a good idea. All right, mama, just leave them and I'll get them. Okay, friends, so we're getting to the point in organization day where I'm sort of thinking about a layout or at least a location for where I want to put my furniture because I do have a lot of furniture and I'm at a point where I'm kind of thinking about taking a few pieces home with me, just the ones that are really not functional or are being used other for like decoration and it's kind of like just too much decor or too much furniture. For example, these are all of my student tables. So I have six student tables, one, two, three, 
four, five, and six is up there. But I have this teacher desk that I really don't want to use. I would rather get rid of it, but I don't think I can. So what I've done is I've stuck it on this wall and I'm thinking about putting a couple of pictures above it and making it like either a student workspace. So like I could put two kids there. Um, it could be like an isolation desk if I need it, which I actually have this one for. I might get rid of it. It's like one of these big kind of like swear desks. I don't know where I'm going to put that as of now, so I might pitch it. Um, and then I have my two Ikea tables, which I used to use for labs, but I didn't end up using them last year for labs, so I might take them home um, because I did end up using these big tables for labs and stations. Um, so I might take those home. I actually have three of them. I have one white and two black ones. This one just doesn't have the legs on it right now. So I might take them home because what I don't like about having too much furniture is when the entire perimeter of the room is just lined with stuff. I like there to be gaps. I don't know why that is, but I like it. It makes it look less crowded and less cluttered. I would rather have less is more. So I'm thinking that I might probably take these three tables home use this one like maybe back there or over here next to my Chromebook cart and then that's it and then the rest of whatever I have will be put away so um, I also have these three bookshelves that are covered in stem and lab supplies which I think are going to stay exactly where they are they might just get pushed over a little bit I could if I can fit them turn them out so that you can see them that way my student aides can go shopping all of these bins actually end up going in these bookshelves, which I thought about taking home, but then I realized quickly that those are my storage. These are really just table toppers and they take up space. So I am going to keep these bookshelves here, the like square um, cubbies, because they do store all of my little like cloth bins. Those were an investment. Um, so things are working out pretty good. I think I might stand this up tall, like up on its side, and put it back there next to my... This is gonna be like my teacher space where I keep all of my files and like my binders and curriculum and stuff. I might make that my desk area back there and then use this table for like my teaching space where I like teach from, which I haven't decided fully yet where I'm gonna put my monitor. It's either gonna go back there or it'll be up here, but I feel like if it's back there, then I'll be more inclined to like sit back there while I'm working and planning and stuff. So I don't know for sure yet if I'm gonna do this. Cause if I do, I would like to make my desk like a functional small group space as well, which would mean that I would need to have a table going this way for my stuff and then a table going that way for small group. But I don't know if I wanna close myself off yet. So I, with, for me, my stuff, I don't know yet. Um, I could also, I don't know, I don't know what to do yet. So <laughs> with that being said, this is what we're kind of looking at. I'm starting to kind of pile things in categories. So like this table, I'm starting to put all my decor on. Um, and then I'm going to put like flexible seating it needs to go up here because it pretty much gets stored underneath this desk. And then I can actually store quite a bit underneath this one um, so that's kind of nice and then um, these are all curriculum books that I don't actually use at all which I don't really know what to do with them I'm thinking about taking them to the science room and stacking them in there because there is space for them I just have to get the key put it on a cart and then wheel it down there and say please put inside and <laughs> call it a day because I don't use this curriculum at all. Um, my principal got it for us to use because we weren't coming in with any like prior just science experience and where some of it's good they don't even want us to give these books to the kids so I just need one set so I can copy from it if I'm going to use it at all. So I think I'm going to get rid of that. And then, so all of this is going to be like curriculum stuff once I move some things. So that's kind of my jam. What I like to do is just kind of pile, like I'll move this over here. I'll make categories on the tabletops and then I go from there. So that's what I'm working on at this moment. I'm kind of categorizing like this is all my personal stuff. So like things that go in my desk or near my desk 
and then um, decor, I'm gonna have flexible seating, so I need to move those. So every tabletop will have kind of like a category on it, and then I'll go from there. This is pretty much solid. Um, all the stuff that's on top will not be there. That's all lights and stuff that I need to move around once I've solidified my layout. But it's going pretty good. And then um, I'll actually put the tables in the um, spots where they will be. There will be um, three tables in the back, three in the front, all facing the same way they're facing now. And they'll just move up a little bit. So like the front tables will probably be closer to right here and spaced out a little bit more. So then I will take the stools and make stacks of them at the end of each table. And I only have 21 students on my roster right now, so I'm gonna set up for 24. So six groups of four. And then I will keep the extra stools somewhere for a small group, because I think I have 30 stools. So that will be great. And it's currently only like 12.30, so we still have quite a bit of time before we're gonna head back. I think we're gonna leave here between three and four. And just once we find a good stopping point, then we will. Also, I did put my library over there. I think I'm gonna put my science is like magic but real words over there. And then the rat cage is in a good spot. And I just don't like how this is looking really like crowded. So I don't know about that one, we'll see. I really don't like that desk being here at all. What I could do is move this desk into this table's position, put the tablecloth over it, and then offer this table up for the taking. And then that would alleviate that problem. Because everybody wants a table, but nobody wants a desk. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try and put my tablecloth on it and see if it'll work. This tablecloth I actually got a couple of years ago on Amazon. It's just one of those, like, I guess it's called like a banquet tablecloth. It's three-sided, so when you put it on, there's no back to it. It just kind of slumps over. I think it's designed for, like, conferences or, like, um, like an event where people would have booths or tables for people to come up and uh, visit. Um, but I don't know if it's going to fit over this. Nope, it's not going to fit over this desk. Okay, so that plan is definitely a wash. This will fit over that table over there, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I might see if I can cram it into another teacher's room and they can use it as a student table. I think that's what I might do. I might put it in one of my teammates' rooms and see if they could use it as either like a countertop space or as a student work table. But before I can do that, I have to get these student tables organized in a way that I can actually move that table or that desk out of here. So I'm gonna work on getting my tables organized and then move them to where they're gonna be. Then I can move that desk out of here and put something else there because I don't like how crowded it looks. I really don't want that desk at all, so we're going to see if I can get rid of it. friends it is 3 30 and we've done quite a bit in the last few hours so I'll just back up and show you 
This is what it's looking like. I'm thinking about, well, I'm pretty positive that this is what's gonna be here. I'm gonna take this home. But this is gonna be the back of the room. This will be my teacher workspace slash small group table. So when I pull small groups or interventions, I will do it here. This is also going to be my teacher desk. So I will do most of my work here. While I'm teaching, I will be up front where I'll have like my monitors and stuff because, and when I do grading, I'll probably work up here. But any other time of day, I'll be back here. I haven't totally decided yet. I might bring this black rising and falling table and put it on top of this one in the corner because when I pull small groups, I generally only have like two or three kids at, at a time. So I could put that here and then put my cords on the floor, tape them down and have my monitors on this table. I don't know yet. I might leave this here just in case I want to use it for like my own workspace because when I'm grading, I don't know if I want to sit up there. I think up there is just going to be for like while I have students, so I don't know yet. Um, you can see the tabletops are getting cleared, more clear. Mom. This is still decor. This is all stuff that like goes up on the walls. This is all the fluff. The plants, the pictures, all the junk that probably isn't necessary but makes the classroom homey. So that's all still to go. This is all my stuff that I need to like sift through and throw out or keep. Like stuff that would normally go on or in a desk. Um, so we'll sort through all of that. And yeah, that we got organized or I got organized. I put all my lab STEM stuff on it. I still have to put, I would probably move it again, or move stuff around on it again so everything fits. But it's nice because you can just pull each one out and grab what you need and then put it back. So because it's a science classroom and because I do hands-on at least two times a week, I have a lot of stuff. And I'll probably have even more after the kids come in because they'll bring more in. This is all STEM supplies as well. STEM or school supplies. This cupboard is very organized, which I like. And what else? Is that it? That's all we did today. Look at my floors. You can definitely tell that I moved that desk into that other room. Let me show you. You will be CSI. Yeah, I will be found out. See the tracks. The and you can see the tracks continue into that room. Sorry, John, but that's what it is. <laughs> um, and then mom did this one. I'm probably gonna put seat belts everyone and then put in the bottom like welcome to another amazing year or something small. And then, yeah, that'll be cute. That'll stay up pretty much all year. So yeah. This will probably not stay here. This is my teaching cart. So that will probably go up and be up there somewhere where I can access it easily.